Where did you go to national school? I went to the Christian Brothers, CBS. And after the father died in uh, 1948, I decided I'm getting out. Hmm. And I went up to the tech. Yeah. But in the national school, uh, the, the, the two schools are in, down in the CBS. Oh, yeah, the CBS. That was in Castle Bar Street at the time, yes. was it? Yeah. Where the Dunn Stores was. Dunn Stores. Dunn Stores, yeah. yeah. And oh. who taught you there? Right. Who was your teacher down there? There was oh, Jim Hughes, hmm. uh, Brother Maher, yeah. uh, there was Brother Helium, who was a terrific teacher. Okay. Yep. He was a terrific teacher. Interested, yeah. And uh, in actual fact, his sister was married to Jimmy Hughes. Oh, okay. There was uh, Alf McMahon teaching first year upstairs. And then you had Brother Erwin Pyuk, we used to call him. Mm -hmm. And uh, one other hard brother. But the boys upstairs in the Lehman service went on strike. Over what? <laughs> I don't know. No. But I, I remember there was a lot of hassle and uh, the teachers would have a meeting. So they sent Professor Malone from the Lehman service in to teach us. But what kind of uh, subjects were you doing now in the primary school? The same as normal, I suppose. Well, we, we started off with and, uh, we started off just English and Irish and maths. And uh, right the way through, um, we didn't do any Latin until we went up to uh, Alf McMahon. Did you do a primary cert that time now, after Yeah. After I finished school? in uh, Brother Helium in sixth class. He did, uh, now he was a completely different teacher. What he would do, he brought it all in from into the sixth class. And he segregated you. you he put a good man with you and that's how we do it. So if there was anybody that was anywhere intelligent that put uh, an unintelligent person with you hmm. and you try and teach them. To bring them along, yeah. Bring them along. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? That was very good. That was very good, yeah. He was, he was, oh, he was a very good teacher. Hmm. And, uh, and did you like the, the national school that time? Though? Well, did you like the national school? It was all right, it was okay. <clears throat> there, was, there was a cinder uh, playing field, a playing ground out there mm. where the car park is now. I remember we used to go there and in school in our feet. Summertime? Yeah. Mm. And then you went upstairs to the secondary school? The secondary then, which was yes. Alf McMahon. Yeah. And he was Latin and English. And uh, he, very, he would take you all the time. So, mm. so how long were you in England for then? I was 12 and a half years in England. Hmm. And when did you come back? I came back in 1969. 69. And you start building here then? I, no, I started building in Castle Bar. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We had we, the Curra up in Castle Bar. Did you do the Curra? Did the, most of the we Most started of the, the I mean, you started it, yeah, yeah. The Curra went on for a long time, didn't and, it? And uh, we, uh, we had a show house hmm. there. And of course the council in Westport weren't too happy with two Westport boys uh, building in Castlebar. Why wouldn't they build in Westport? Mm. So we got a letter from them, so came over and we, we miss uh, the engineer Malone. Elby. What's his first name? Elby. Elby. Mm. So Elby was, he brought us up to Kings Hill. Mm -hmm. We have this now. I said, well, he says, it's, it's, I didn't think it was right because they put the hill and everything. Mm. So I said, who owns the land Westport side, you know, the wall? Mm. So that was the pine woods down. So mm. he says, we do. Would you be interested? I said, we buy that. Mm. Now, the first section was the FCA, but then we had the whole. So we will start building the houses there, and we, they went very, very fast, and it took all the working people in Westport that bought them, and some of them are still there. And, uh, they, How much were they at the time? Right? Can you remember the price of them? It was, the semi-detached was 4,300. Yeah. 
and they got the 300 back from the from the government or the council. The bungalows were 6,000. I think there were six of them, and I had the last one at the top. I can't remember what the masonettes mm. were. And what year did you build them? We started 69, in eh? 1971. 71. So that's the beginning of yeah. Pinewood, yeah. Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and who was in the company with you? With your brother Vincent? Was Vincent, yeah. Two of you in it, yeah. Just the two of us, yeah. Mm. And we had a rough office. <laughs> But we worked from it and it worked out pretty good. We sold the timber to a Ballon Road man. From the wood, is it? Huh? There was the wood there, there was, yeah, yeah. Oh, there was a complete wood right the way through. Oh, there? So we got two and a half thousand for that. For the timber? No, but near <laughs> the price of a house at <laughs> that time, yeah. And uh, then uh, oh, Sonny Horton came then and took out the rest of the, the roots and the last, last bit of timber that was left, mm -hmm. and he bought that, and uh, we did it. The, we got the ESP to put in the electricity because we were using the, the their power system, which is a blow air. It wasn't very successful, mm -hmm. and we had to duct everything into the house. It was, it was blown. Now that I think of it, rather years ago. It was blowing dust and air all over the place. Yeah. It was no good. But it was, it was a new thing, was it? Oh, it was a new thing. New so thing, yeah. We had underground, there was no poles at all to put in underground cable, cable and put in a little transformers, so two transformers on the road, and uh, we used that. Must be one of the first to have underground cabling, was it? I'd say we were, mm. yeah. yeah. The, Did you see much changes in building techniques over your, your, uh, over your time? It's unbelievable. It is yeah. when, when I think uh, what the health and safety are doing now compared to what we went through is unbelievable. Mm. Was there any health and safety that time? No, no, no. whatsoever. No inspector? So in the past few years, no, yeah. health and safety. Mm. And my God, I see, I see them now, people up on scaffolding with harness and everything, hard hats and a hook onto the scaffold in mm. case he fell. Mm. Were there many people killed prior to this? Many injured and killed? Demo. Did you ever see one? Well, let's put it, say, we, we never had the television, we never had the publicity that there is now. That there is now, yeah. But they'd be reported at time, wouldn't they, if somebody yeah, had killed or... Yeah, oh, could be, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it was like mm. the, the time that the man was murdered in Westport. Mm. And, uh, all the cops came down to it, that was, we were far away then. Oh yeah, yeah. But, uh, but there much change in machinery now from when you were building for the Wendell Oh yeah, yeah. JCB was about the, the best you could get now. It was demos of cranes, everything mm. was lifted by hands. Even in England, the, the, the odd forklift, only the odd one. But it's changed dramatically now. So they, they, they hardly use the shovel at all now, do they? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you how fast it's changed. I went to London, a friend of mine, Pat Whelan, phoned me after I had the, my accident. And he said, well, <coughs> poor, I, <coughs> how are you getting on? I said, okay. I said, I'm convalesced a bit. He said, would you come over for two weeks? So I said, okay. I said, just drive over. He said, I cover the cost every day. Two weeks, that's all I want you for, to look after a job. Yeah. So uh, when I went over, he had a mobile phone. It's sort of turf now. Oh, yeah. And I seen it, it's demonstrated on the telly the last night. And it would, la it would you could use it for a quarter of an hour. Quarter of an hour, yeah. Charged, compared to what we have nowadays. Mm. It's unbelievable. And that's 1985. So you've seen a lot of changes in life, have you? Oh, unbelievable. What would you think are the biggest changes you've seen in your time? I, I think the biggest change is the phone. The phone? I would say it's mm. the phone. It has to be the phone. Yeah. Communications, really, that you can mm. pick your phone up, you can phone anybody, it doesn't matter where they are. Mm. 